Exemplar to jump in as well. Void spikes after the lead for Shy. Captain Jack on the outside of the fight, doing a lot of damage. Mad Life coming in, getting the kill on Helios. Bloodthirsty Lulu strikes again. And a two for zero for Azubu Frost, and they're gonna take this top lane turret as well. Yeah, that was an absolutely huge play for Frost, and they're doing yeah. exactly what they need to do in order to win. A lot of the Lumu dominance that we've seen here in Champions Winter has been a result of teams not really playing correctly. You really don't want to fight in a 5v5 battle against the Mumu if you can avoid it. Yeah. So the card this pick here... Oh, Ambition making a bit trapped. Shy coming in, he gets Rune Prison, he may be in trouble. There's the ultimate from Shy, trying to get that unseen threat. Oh, and that was a very seen threat as Rapid Star picks up that kill. So I want to talk about the, the way that the brilliance of Frost Cop and the way they're using it. So you don't want to fight a 5v5 right now against Azubu Blaze with that Amumu and that Rise. Yep. Like that's very, 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 very dangerous. Blood Loyal Caitlyn, of course, also dangerous. So instead, what they've done that uh -huh. is so smart is they fit Karthus with his global presence with Requiem. Yeah. And then what they've done is they filled the rest of their lineup with a bunch of duelists. So they engage in these mini confrontations all over the map, but yeah. they always have the power of Karthus to back them up. And Blaze can only fight really effectively as a five-man unit because Kha'Zix, Graves, these are champions that are going to win those small skirmish engagements, especially with the power of Requiem coming in behind them. Yeah, and that's, that's very exactly true. what we saw right there. That's a brilliant strategy, actually. That's yeah, it's really smart. Very nice. Baron being cleared out by Azubu Frost right now. They're going to try to set up for uh, possibly their own Baron attempt. It's about 25 minutes into the game, so Baron does become a thing at around this time. Yeah. A thing to be considered, Monte Cristo. So and, yeah. Some things going in, warning Frost to back off a bit. And here's another one of those little 1v1 engagements. Shy versus Flame in the top lane. Flame just continuing to, you know, try to get something done. He's 0-2-1. He's a bit up on farm, but he has had a rough time in the top lane. Yeah, you can see uh, that Shy also picking up those home guard boots and now going for that giant spell. Yep. He is a really scary duelist right now. And he's also been able to keep that tower up critically by using those void spikes to sustain on the void spikes, giving him that health as well. Very, very useful, just spamming that ability. And now they're going to go for a full-blown engage here. Well, look at the zoning here, too. I mean, just basically taking the jungle of Azubu Blaze. Yeah. Well, that was a really great smoke screen by Graves to just make sure nobody decided to come through there. Yeah, and Flame going to be able to take this turret right now, so they're just going to yep. sacrifice it. But what do they want to trade it for? Mad Life again, showing up with the Oracles all the time, yeah. taking away that vision. Same thing he's done oh, for the past two games. Oh, they're going to try to catch Flame. I don't think they can get him, though. Yeah, Shy's not going to catch him. Oh, oh, barely. That was like one pixel yeah. away from getting him, man. It's very close. But in the end, Flame manages to escape to Ragnarok another day. And Frost will continue to keep that Baron pit more or less clear of wards. Yeah, we have the, the, the single target damage, the burst that Bl or Frost can do with a pick right now is absolutely yep. huge. So there's the ward going down. Litter Land's going to yep. catch Rust Boy a little bit. Ooh. They're going to try to jump in on him, but he does get away. I, I just absolutely love the aggression from Mad Life, man. I mean, that is... That is exactly how you play Lulu. The Observer's showing you right now. Lulu's 4, 1, and 2, guys. Lulu has the most kills on the team. This Mad, is... Mad Life is God. Mad Life is suddenly my favorite Lulu player. So, sorry, Lost Boy. <laughs> but Bloodthirsty Lulu wins every time, man. So they're still continuing to pull patrol around yeah. this Baron pit. Now, Azubu Blaze, or Azubu Frost, excuse me, can do Baron very, very fast with this Carpus. So yep. it's critical that that Blaze actually maintain their front presence right there. They can't let it go for even a minute. Yeah. And Leandri is now coming down on Rapid Star as well, trying to burn down the high HP targets. Yeah. Uh, of course, with champions that typically get a little bit more HP, like Rise and Olaf. Rise more than a standard AP carry, at least. Wow, yep. Templar trying to engage right there. He's a brave guy, man. Stepped in a trap and decided he wanted to get out of it by 1v5ing the team. Yeah. So they have that, that percent damage. You also have the percent damage from Darwin's passive as well. So yeah. they've got some good champions for burning down those high HP targets and some good itemization for doing it as well. Leandri's on that. Uh, 
Operation Crazy Lulu coming in here. Nice Glitterland. Oh, what a great cataclysm. What a great wild growth as well. Meanwhile, in the back, Flame doing some damage to Rapid Star, but taking a lot in return. Shy jumping in. Here comes Requiem. Another kill for Rapid Star. Flame getting low. Helios as well. It looks like it's going to be a really big win this time around for Azubu Frost. One for four. A beautiful play there. Yeah, and again, Frost just refusing to engage in a traditional team fight. Yeah. Madline coming around to create Man. the situation where they just split it up into small skirmishes. And when you do that and you have the better duelists, that's how you win these team fights. Yeah. Play is not keeping clustered up. Oh, goodbye, Ambition. It's been nice knowing you. Oh, he does get a kill. Makes it happen. All right, that's okay. Yeah, but Lustoy now, the only champion left. Yep. We're and just going to go ahead <laughs> and murder this inhibitor with his buddies, Cloud Templar and Bad Life. The battle of snowballs oh, versus bullets. <laughs> I'm going to bet on bullets. In the meantime, a huge creep wave pushing down top lane as well. Man, I I just love Mad Life. I love Mad Life playing Lulu. It's, it's hard not to, to Operation, love Mad Life. Operation Glitterlands has been a huge success. That's right, man. So uh, while Glitter I go Max. home and uh, draw hearts around Static Shiv, you're going to be going home I with like, pictures of Mad Life pasting <laughs> them into your diary. I will, man. Grand hearts. It's true. <laughs> it's Glitter Lance in my heart. <laughs> and I am I'm slowed. <laughs> I'm going to write a 90s alternative rock song about my, my love for Mad Life playing Lulu. Oh my god, I would. It's going to be in really the style of do. the Gin Blossoms, and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh. Make it happen, League of Legends community. Doa will sing it. <laughs> you write, I, I will could. ensure that Doa sings it. Uh, sure. Sure, I'll do that. I'm going to buy a guitar soon. <laughs> Give me the tablature and I'll play it too. Because I can't actually read music. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> it's about embarrassing as this dragon trying to fight Cloud Templar and Wound. It's not going to happen. It's definitely not going to happen. So, yeah. Warbox now on Chai, so. He's almost finished his Mura or his Muramana right now. I'm not sure if he actually has stacked up his tier all the way, but he's got the long sword. Yep. Waiting for that extra burst of damage that that's going to give him. Almost ready. It is so Spend. close. Seraph's embrace now coming down on ambition, so he's okay. opted to go for that. Uh, he has had problems staying alive against the the burst from Azubu yeah. Frost, so it makes sense that he would get that instead of Muravan in this game. That because his sustained DPS ultimately the most valuable thing. And if he's if he's dead, he can't do that, can he, Doa? No, it's a little bit harder to do when you're dead. It's it's not uh, not going to be a very likely situation. Yeah. In my experience, anyway. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yeah. Mad Life can do whatever he wants, but I love it that Mad Life and Wung have the uh, or Mad yeah they have the exact same kills, deaths, and assists right now. Well, you know, Mad Life. I, I mean, he's just so good on so many champions. Yeah. It's like impossible to stop. Here comes Shy. He's gonna jump in on Flame. Can they capitalize on this? Forcing him back, trying to force that fight at Baron. So what Blaze needs to do is, do yeah, they just need to make sure that they're clustered up. They can't get in a situation where they can be yep. separated into those little skirmish groups again. They can't be picked off in lane. But if they can cluster, yeah. and all they really need is one good Curse of the Sad Mummy and one good, or a couple good cooldown rotations from Rise, yeah. and they will do really well in a team fight. So can they set that up is the question. We'll see. We'll see. They're under so much pressure right now. I mean, especially after losing that inhibitor, that it's going to be you know, really tough for them to do any decision making in terms of where they fight, you know, and how they fight. It's a barren attempt by Azuku Frost. Can they get him in time? He's getting low. Yeah. Mad Life's over with Glitterlands. No problem. Yeah. Wall of Hating Glitterlands pretty much sealed the deal on that one. There wasn't going pretty to be a way for, for Blaze to engage. Pain of Glitterlands. And here we go, Frost pushing in this top lane right now. It looks like they have this game pretty locked down. You know, I mean, there's the outside chance of a fight like you described happening, but it looks like Frost is on the verge of 3-1-ing this. Well, they do have an 8,000 gold advantage, so that's, they definitely, do gonna, that's definitely gonna help them out. Yeah. And they're able to take these turrets very effectively. Wall of Pain, look at the zone that they've got to, to work with here. Oh, yeah. 
Smoke well, screen gonna prevent those auto attacks. Wall of Pain gonna help force him back. Glitter Lance gonna make it very difficult for Blaze to engage. Void yep. strikes as well with oh, the unseen Woom. threat. You know, Woom got a little bit out of position again. He likes to do that. And uh, yes. uh, what was that? I don't know. Wow. I, uh, the Korean commentators. Man, Suddenly we have the Korean commentators in our ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're taking over. <laughs> All right. So that happened. The siege continues, though. Azubu Frost trying to find a way to come in. We're going to see the great wall of traps here in front of things. And Boom getting very, very close. But the poke from Void Spikes is just going to be so good as well. Here comes Boom now coming in behind that wall of pain. And Woong has to quick draw away. Cloud Templar taking some damage here. Gets netted, gets prisoned, but manages to survive. And in the meantime, down in mid lane, Ambition has to pull back. This could be their chance. Yeah, the, the traps are really dangerous when Ryze is on the team. He's now in bot lane, obviously. Yeah. But eating a cooldown rotation from Ryze at this point is really painful. So we saw even get the turret. ultra tanky Templar take more than 50% of his health bar yep. from that trade, just from stepping on that one trap. Yeah. Gotta be careful. But the inhibitor in mid is back up now. Yep, Shy zoning people out once again with the Void Spikes. They want to get that inhibitor again. Oh, Rapid Star has to flash in. He has to make something happen. There's the curse. Ambition gets one kill. Can he follow it up? Here comes Requiem. Ambition in trouble. There's the absolute zero. You know, actually, Azuki Blaze handled that okay, but in the end, they're still going to lose the inhibitor. They're too far behind now. Yeah, so, uh, it's, it's just too much. That was a very good fight for them, uh, yeah. and that was the kind of fight that they wanted, but yeah. they, they wanted that fight 10 oh, minutes Woon. ago. Can you escape? Yes, you can. You can quick draw through that raw wall. Wound man, who knew that Graves had the ability to just go through walls like that? <laughs> All right, so Templar. Going to go ahead and take out those little golems, clear out the jungle on their yep. way back to base. Regroup, buy some items. Now they've got those two inhibitors down before they try and drive the dagger into Blaze's heart. Pretty much. And I'm sorry, guys, I don't think we're going to get to see Blight. I today. don't think we are, no. You know, you predicted Frost winning 3 1 today, and it, it looks like that was pretty accurate. I think a lot of other people would have predicted that, too. The game isn't over yet, but. You know, with an 8k gold lead like Frost has, with two inhibitors down, it's going to be, it's going to take a miracle. Yeah, especially now that Mad Life picked up Locket as well, as the Observer oh, yeah. was just pointing out. That is a very, very good item, that, of course, against the composition. Yep. That is who Blaze is running. Yeah, most definitely. He's got Shirelias as well. I mean, he's got a great build. Yeah, Warmogs, interesting to say, but Warmogs on Gloom, and that's just because uh, Ra or Graves has that, that short range, and the Warmogs is really going to help him stay alive if he gets hit by that Amugu ultimate or yep. Rune Prison because there's a lot of ways that he can get CC'd. And he's likely to get CC'd because he doesn't have the range that Caitlyn does. Yeah, so absolutely. The, Ooh, nice wall of pain there. You know, his team isn't really hurting for attack damage because of Shy. Uh -huh. is, the, is another big source of that AD. So he's perfectly free to itemize with that Warmogs yep. if he so chooses, which he has. And uh, it looks like, did he, he upgraded his uh, Q, actually. Did not upgrade his ultimate, I believe. What? Yeah, well, aren't those no longer scythe hands for the upgrade? I, would be I could be wrong. I, I am not, I have not played Kha'Zix personally, I, well, but that, for some reason, those just look bigger than usual. I, I haven't played Mecha Kha'Zix, that's a difference. I can tell ah, easily that's true on too, normal yeah. Kha'Zix, but. That's true, too. This skin is I don't different. know, it just jumped out at me for some yeah, reason. Yeah, you may be right, I just don't know. We'll see. That's a lot of minions. That's not something you want in your base. Yeah, in case so. you guys didn't know. And so Fish here comes the push in bot lane. Yeah, Fish is going to have to use his ult to clear that as well. Yeah. Well, the rest of this this inhibitor turret takes some more chunks out of it. Yeah, Mad Life taking some chunks of damage himself here. Got to be a little careful right there, but... Yep. You know, Shy's damage output really isn't as high. As uh, as we've seen from other Kazix, obviously it's because of the way he built, but you know, still, well, it's not going to be quite as much poke as we've seen from like a mid Kazix in a lot of cases. That Muramana, now that he's completed it, now that he has Brutalizer, uh -huh. if he ever, ever hits somebody alone with Taste Their Fear, yeah. it's going to chunk them for like, no joke, like 50% of their life bar. 
he can kill Captain Jack in one rotation right now with that item. Like, it, this is actually a crazy late game Kha'Zix build, but once you get that Muramana, my god, are you going to be doing a lot of damage. Well, we'll see if he can do it. I, I would love to see it, just because I think it'd be incredibly entertaining. I don't think that Blaze is going to give him the chance to find somebody alone right now, but you know. Yeah, I doubt it. Helios caught a little bit alone, though. He's going to do the curse, but he's going to get taken out. Another kill for Lulu. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so biased towards Lulu, but accept me for what I am, Monte Cristo. <laughs> a lover of the Lulu. I'm just happy about the killing blows for Lulu. 5-1-7 and seven for Mad Lion. Guessing oh. like a boss. Here we there go. That's what you wanted. Oh, the damage on Captain Jack. Man. Yeah, so it's pretty much what you said. <laughs> yeah. You were pretty accurate in terms of the amount it would do. Yeah. There we go. Well, we got to see it. Shy and Flame dueling as the inhibitor goes down, and Flame's going to lose that duel, it looks like. Yeah, nobody can actually duel Shy at this point. Yep. Certainly looks that way, man. He has been tasting so much fear. That's right, man. Tastes like delicious candy to him. That's right. Fear. This world is delicious. That's what right. Kha'Zix likes to say. He's right. It really is. Yeah. You know what's especially delicious? Korea. It's oh, probably man. the most delicious part of the world, the food. actually. The so Korean good. food is amazing. I don't know. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about Korean food because <laughs> it's so good. Cossacks would, would love this part of, of the world. He would. He'd, he'd reform his murderous ways and just eat Korean barbecue all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I know I was civilized when I came out here. That's right. Like Monte Cristo used to like chase deer through the forest and <laughs> jump on them like Twilight style and yeah, that's me. Tear their throats out with his <laughs> fangs. But not anymore. Actually, I kind of look I've like the reformed. Twilight guy today. My makeup is so pale. It so is. They just forgot to put on the sparkles. Otherwise, I was going to be going like full Edward Cullen cosplay today. It's all right. I'll bring the glitter next time, man. <laughs> Thanks. I, I know I can count on you, Monte Cristo. I appreciate it. Anything for a friend. It's good to know I've got a co-caster that's <laughs> willing to make my makeup look more like Twilight characters. It's I can sleep better at night now. We're all in this together. That's right. And by this, I mean making you do a Twilight <laughs> cosplay. I think everybody's kind of in on that one. Inhibitor, it's back up, but not for long. Here's the run in. There's a wild drone. Welcome to the arena, Ambition. You're not going to make it out. I'm sorry. Captain Jack on the outskirts doing a lot of damage until Shy comes in, and he's going to chase that. There's Requiem. Will they be able to end the game right here? Woong, actually a bit of trouble here. Woong is not going to make it out. Oh, man. Look I, at that. I don't even know what why. What the world just happened? Woong was incredibly out of position right there. They got, Azuba Frost got wounded right there, man. <laughs> I think it happened. It's, it's, they're so far ahead, though. I mean, the inhibitors are still dropping left and right. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to actually be able to save these turrets. I mean, they did it's, manage to save their central inhibitor, so the push yeah. is going to be a lot less. Uh, Shy diving really, really deep there as well on an attempt yeah, to... Yeah, he really did. I mean, both both Shy and Woong, they're trying to just get that killing blow. We're going to have an intervention with Shy because his needing to taste everyone's fear is getting in the <laughs> way of his normal roles in the team. That's right. Well, Captain Jack did make it back to base. And by the way, Captain Jack has 450 CS right there compared oh, wow. to Woong's 293. <laughs> So doing everything he can, and of course, the push on the base has helped him achieve that goal. Yeah. 100%. So, yeah, part, it's not just that he farmed well in lanes, that there have been so many minions flooding into Blaze's base that it's been very easy for him to see us. But you, have, you see that he has hit that insane oh. late game Caitlyn build. He has that GA. Uh-huh. So, this is a situation, though, and it's looking a lot like MVP White versus KT Rolster A when Imp like, went totally insane with Caitlyn and got that pentakill while the Nexus was burning down. This I is know. almost exactly it the same similar. situation. But late game Caitlyn with Nunu, oh my god. Like, literally, Captain Jack may be able to like 1v5 their entire team. We actually did see We did Imp. see that happen, We actually. did see yeah, Imp. We, this is a game that happened. We have seen happened. that, yeah. It was one of the most epic endings to a game of League of Legends where MVP White's AD carry Imp was playing six item Caitlyn, like 1v5 KT Rolster A as super minions were beating down his Nexus. Yep. Penta killed KT Rolster A, and while all of Rolster A was dead, Rolster A won the game with yep. super minions. It was the nuttiest thing. It was pretty incredible. So I, I feel like right now if you combine score with another support, you get Mad Life playing Lulu. His KDA <laughs> is actually 13 right now in this game. <laughs> yeah, so. See so if Captain Jack can have the same luck, he is just going to do ridiculous damage. Yeah. Has that Bloodthirster, Last Whisper, Infinity Edge. Craziness. Yep. 
And Madlife having to use his W on himself to get out of there. Shy trying to taste the fear of ambition. That's taste the fear of ambition. That sounds like the setup to a <laughs> self-help seminar, doesn't it? <laughs> so does. I yeah. love it. Well, we're kind of waiting for this last inhibitor to go down. Nice Glitter Lance, actually. Slowing down Captain Jack, forcing him to just be on the retreat. Helios comes in right now. Can he get a good Christmas at Mummy? It's pretty good. Absolute zero coming down. It's right after the Zonius finishes. Oh, man. Instantly new Rapid Star. There's Requiem, though, doing a lot of damage to Azubu Blaze. And Bloom getting chased. Captain Jack. Oh, man, the damage from him. And Captain Jack takes out Bloom. What is going on, Monte Cristo? Uh, this is the six item Caitlyn with Nunu. It is so strong, Noah. We talked it about is this indeed. before this game. And but they managed to ago. save that inhibitor. So it's beginning to come back, maybe. Shy needs to take that thing down. Can he sneak in there and do it? If Can they he do the deed. If they win this game, it's going to be uh, the, the most craziest insane comeback in the history of, league. of all time. And there's the inhibitor coming back up. Wow. And now, look at this. We're 44 minutes into this game. We actually have an insanely high gold total for 44 minutes. Yeah. This has been a really, really uh, farm-oriented and a relatively high kill game so far. But look at this, 371 in ambition. I know. 484 Kem Jack's going to hit 500 Jack. CS this game. He, yeah. he very well could hit 500 CS this game. Yeah, so despite the fact that it's nine towers to three, we're like, Blaze has been down Barons, they've been down yeah. Dragons. They're actually only like three and a half thousand gold behind, 4,000 gold behind, because they have such a redonkulous farm. You just use the word redonkulous. I, I had to, man. That's the only way to describe it. You just became like the most frat boyish dude bro <laughs> in the entire world just now. Oh, well, my life's ambitions. Which one of the American Pie movies is your favorite, Monte <laughs> Cristo? Jeez. <laughs> and now, uh, of course, Lu or Nunu going to be getting the Stark's fervor as well. So increasing yeah. that attack speed from Captain Jack even more. Captain Jack is now Obi-Wan Kenobi, the only hope <laughs> For Zubu Blaze, can he actually pull this iron out of the fire? Like, I am we'll so interested. Like, this is now a very fascinating game. He's got GA. He's like, if you kill me, I'll, you'll only make me stronger. It's <laughs> like, right, no. Man. I don't know about that. Wung is totally the Darth Vader of Zubu Frost, though. He has traded in his boots for Zephyr. Yes. I like so, it. So... He's Why gonna not? be relying on Blood Boil for movement speed, so <laughs> he and Lust Boy are now the inseparable duo. They are indeed. Oh my god, 18,600 gold for Captain Jack, 500 CS. It's like King Kong and his girlfriend. What? From the movie King Kong, although... Oh my god, what is his attack speed right now? 2.1. It's pretty quick. 2.1 attacks per second, I can... I'll, I'll take that. I mean, he yeah. does seem to be attacking very quickly. <laughs> Yep. So he gets the movement speed from Zephyr as well, but that's only 10%. But he, he does have tenacity from it also, which will be yeah. really helping him. I really like this switch out. In Season 2, of course, sometimes we'd see them trade in boots for Phantom Dancers, but Zephyr actually seems a bit more practical, so all especially with Nunu. All the inhibitors are back right now. Azubu Frost trying to come in. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Blaze still has a very strong team fight again. Yeah, that they do. perfect Nunu and Rise and Caitlyn combination can yeah. still just wipe the floor with Frost. Well. The other thing, too, is right now Frost is very spread out. So Baron is worn off. It has not come back yet, I and believe. Yeah, it's not. Now that all the inhibitors are up, there's actually a threat. Ooh, actually, yeah. a Zuber Blaze. Oh, go. this is bad. It's bad. Here comes Shy coming in. There's the absolute zero. Can they get the win? Rapid Star getting very low as well. A kill already. Shy goes down. Can Captain Jack do it? There's the double kill. Can he continue? A Super Blaze Templar getting very low. I just said a Super Blaze Templar. There's a triple Jack kill. The triple. Oh, man. Three kills for Blaze, and Baron is up. They're going to charge down the middle. We may see a base race. Noah man. Wong is sitting up in the top lane. This be would be uh, the single most insane comeback in League of Legends. Before Captain Jack sold his boots, he's like, you haven't even seen my final evolution. <laughs> Now that he's, he's out, I can't believe this. Woogie Madlife, the only ones alive. Can they burn through the turrets fast enough, though? I don't know. They have 25 seconds. They can at least get an inhibitor here, I think. We they have can. Woong coming back right now. Ambition went to bot lane to stall him. Here comes Rocket Woong. 
And yeah, they're going to take the nope. They're going to go back. Oh, they're going to go for Baron instead. Man. So they're just going to go for Baron with this extra about 20 seconds that they have before the smite on Teflar comes back yeah, up. Yeah, it should be time. It should be time to get Baron. Ambition already working yeah. on it. He could probably solo Baron. Here comes Helios. Bandage tossing in there. Needs to be a little bit careful about his health. He is very low. He does not have Curse of the Sad Mummy up as well. And now they need to really hurry. Shirelli is immediately as they move back to the base, and they're just going to recall. Yeah, Helios, I don't know why he's not recalling right now. Uh, oh, he's going to go ahead and, and try to push that lane up top, I guess, but... Okay, uh, so I just want to point out right now that I can't remember a game where we had nearly 150,000 gold by only 50 minutes. Yeah, this is, this is insane, such, man. This is such a high economy game that we're watching right here. We've got the kills to back it up. We have the global objectives to back it up. Yeah. And most importantly, we have the farm coming, streaming into the base due to the downed inhibitors from Blaze that they've been able to get 538 farm <laughs> by 50 minutes. This must be some oh, sort of man. record that we're looking at right here. Now they've managed to pick up Baron and these teams didn't even... Oh, Wound. Oh, they saw him. They saw him. If he has it's the great Wound chase. Helios is going to try to pick him off. Wound goes down. Oh, what a huge break for Zubu Blaze. Do you believe in miracles, Monte Cristo? Oh, my God. It I may can't happen believe here. we're watching it. So, Ambition, look at his build. He's got... Frozen Heart, Guardian Angel, and Banshee's Veil <laughs> charging up the middle, yeah. trying to keep these lanes pushed. Now the rest of his team gonna come up there, but Shy yep. intent on the back door. We may see a base Ooh, race right we could. here. We very well could, guys, and there's a lot less for Frost to work through than for Blaze. Ambition's gonna go back. Okay, he's gonna try to prevent it. Shy is going to take out at least one inhibitor. They're all going back. Okay, so they nope, want to. They're tanking oh, the they're turret. Not. They're going to try and trade here. Home guard boots coming down, but I don't think he's going to be able to deal with Shy. They're going to back off. They're going to preserve right. the Oh, inhibitor. Mad Life. Mad Life. He gets root prison. He may be in trouble. Oh, Mad Life. He gets bandaged, Dawson. That is it. Wild Growth is not going to save you, man. And they're going to come oh, around and turn their attention on this move. other inhibitor. Inhibitor down for Azubu Frost, however. Yep. Templar and Shy having to back out. Rune Prison, a oh, very real threat right now. Could it's be big. Come there down it is. To Templar. That's right. There's Curse of the Sad Mummy. Templar gets out of it. He will not get out of everything, though. And another kill for Ambition. Oh, another kill for Captain Jack. Are you kidding me? Uh, Azubu Blaze is going to win this game, Doha. I think they are. This is the most insane comeback I think I have ever seen in League of Legends. This you guys is, are having, <laughs> this is a treat for you guys to watch this live. This is insane. All three inhibitors were down yep. for Azubu Blaze at one point in this game. And Woon going to go back and try and backdoor this to push them back. But uh, they've oh, got. They They've no. got 40 seconds to make this happen, and they There's, are so tanky. There's a wall of pain. And so here we go. This is so up close, into man. Into the base. Both turrets are at full HP. Captain Jack is going to take gonna it. They're going to die Shirelius so fast. Down. Captain Jack is just going to absolutely own this. Oh, my God. Azubu Blaze is going to win game four. Oh, man. Azubu Blaze coming back from three inhibitors down. Wins with the base trade, and we are going to the blind pick game, Monte Cristo. Captain Jack, can we just nominate him as player of the year for 2013? <laughs> oh I know it's like January God. 7th, but let's do it. It's probably not even what day it is. No, it's the 9th. I have no idea. I just cast an amazing game. What? I can't believe that happened. All I gotta say, Champions Winter, man. <laughs> That's just what happens here. Oh my god, and this is what that KT Rolls to versus MVP White game could have been. <laughs> Azubu Blaze is coming wow. back with insane poise. Captain Jack Dude. with the moves to make that happen. 51 minutes, 566 CS, <laughs> total domination, 23,000 gold yeah. on Captain Jack that game. Whoa. I, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm stunned, man. All I gotta say, is uh, if you know anybody in your, you know, friends or family or, or anyone that you have in your phone like list right now, call them and tell them to turn on the stream because this next game is going to be probably one of the most crazy games of League of Legends you've ever seen. Oh, it's going to be. It's, I mean, Blaze got to feel good about pulling that oh, one out. Yeah, Helios no kidding. right there. Oh, man. Oh. I've got tears in my eyes. That game was so incredible. Yeah, there's Cloud Templar. They're going to have to rethink their, I mean, really, Lives. a lot of that came down to Wound getting caught in the bot lane. Yeah. Because it allowed 
plays to run around the map and pick them well, off and force them into a situation where they had to back door. Stick around for blind pick game five. I'm, Are you insane? Why would you not watch it after that? Yeah, if you don't tell people about this game that's coming up, you don't like your friends. That's just <laughs> that's just what it is. So true. You don't like your family if you don't wake them up. I don't care if it's 6 a.m. where you are. Get mom and dad out of bed. You love esports and League of Legends anyway, so why shouldn't they appreciate that?